Hey Virginia is a production of viewer-supported WVPT Public Media. WVPT relies on contributions from viewers like you. So, if you appreciate this show and want to help us keep bringing it to you each month, please consider making a donation to support WVPT. The Factory Antique Mall, now the largest antique mall in America, with 121,000 square feet of antiques and collectibles and over 200 dealers. A true shopping destination located off exit 227 on I-81 in Verona. FactoryAntiqueMall.com Hey Virginia had the pleasure of meeting one of Charlottesville's very talented fine artists and illustrators. He has made his living as a medical illustrator and now continues his artistic journey through orating, collecting, and modifying war action figures and creating fine art with a signature technique that makes color pencil impressions look like watercolor paintings. Please join us as we explore an artist world. Charlottesville, Virginia is a city filled with talented artists and musicians. And one such artist lives near the heart of the city. He is an illustrator, a portrait painter, and a fine artist. And he goes by the name Frank Walker. Won't you join us as we sit down and talk to this local prodigy? <laughs> Since childhood, uh, we used to read comic books and we used to emulate comic books, my brother and myself. And we would draw from comic books and just started drawing everything that was visible. And uh, the, the kicker was, I, I guess the most influential thing was that we had, this is Francis Brand, the purple lady, gave us a show, a backyard art show. Took some clothespins and strung some paintings on a, a, a clothesline and we sold a couple I think all between all four of us we may have made $25 and we said man this is what we want to do so my brother became an artist as did I. The Charlottesville grows I think so does the art community or the creative community grows here most things here in Charlottesville were traditional, like the, for instance, like the Lee statue, you know, those kind of traditional things. Now those things are, are, are turning about, like they have the photographic show on the mall. They're, they're probably, since I was a kid, there's probably uh, 20 galleries as opposed to there was only one. When I joined uh, the military, uh, it was a uh, volunteer. I, had, uh, I hadn't gotten drafted, wanted to do something, uh, needed a job, and the military was a uh, uh, perfect place for me. My first choice was to go to Vietnam, but they weren't sending anyone else to Vietnam. They sent us all to Germany. And so that is what the military taught me. You, you do whatever you do, do it well, and, and do it to the end of the day. I'd do shows at military shows and I would do talks. Uh, usually when I did a show, I'd have the African-American soldiers out because I'd see kid, African-American kids come by and they had no idea that their parents or their uncles had served in, in, at, at such a time. And even historically, I'm a historian as well, uh, that these that African-American soldiers actually had participated in every fight in this nation's history. And so it, to tell those stories, like most people would not even realize that they were black Confederate soldiers. My favorite medium would be pencil, or some people refer to it technically as graphite. Uh, uh, that's my favorite. And then it would be watercolor, uh, then oils, um, and color pencil. I'd have a technique with color pencil it's called painting with pencils. And it is very sh short strokes, layered color, which look more like a painting than they do a drawing. But it's, uh, uh, I've learned various techniques from, uh, from being in the illustration business. Uh, for myself, I just always liked to draw. Ever since I was a child, just 
drawing, 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 drawing. And, and I do this every day. Uh, it's probably not a day that doesn't go by that I don't doodle or, or draw something. Frank Walker's fine art can be found on display permanently in downtown Charlottesville. The Factory Antique Mall, now the largest antique mall in America, with 121,000 square feet of antiques and collectibles and over 200 dealers. A true shopping destination located off exit 227 on I-81 in Verona. FactoryAntiqueMall.com Hey Virginia is a production of viewer-supported WVPT Public Media. WVPT relies on contributions from viewers like you. So, if you appreciate this show and want to help us keep bringing it to you each month, please consider making a donation to support WVPT.